Yo, I am at the Arizona Museum of Natural History. What a cool entryway. That is 98 degrees. <clears throat> Excuse me, 98 degrees at 10 o'clock in the morning. Uh, Mesa's a little warmer than uh, what I'm used to, but uh, it's getting some AC. Check out some dinosaurs. Look at this. That's crazy. Look at this dude. Wow. Multiple layers here, levels, so be walking around quite a bit. Get this beautiful waterfall. That's what they believe it looked like. Crazy. Wow, look at this thing. The crown crocodile. Interesting. I'm gonna get bit by this dude. Pretty cool exhibit. It's much cooler in here than outside. It's petrified wood, northern Arizona. I've been there. I plan on taking you guys there, hopefully uh, in the spring. Petrified floors. Wow, look at that flat, dude.
What a cool place. I didn't even know this thing existed until uh, about a couple of weeks ago. Great museum so far. Let's see the foot. Wow. Mm -hmm. The size of this fish. It's huge. Wow. some fossils on that thing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That was a sea. That's crazy. Look at this. It's amazing. I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce these. the bottom part of the waterfall when we first walked in. Is there a buddy up there? The lighting's kind of bad here, but these are potteries that they found locally. some of those in my tombstone. The Native Americans used to sell those all the time at the Salt River Canyon when I was a kid. Fortunately, none of that stuff exists anymore, but at the Salt River, um, at the bottom of it, but um, Native Americans used to sell jewelry, all kinds of stuff. Dream weavers, or dream catchers. Cool. Let's go check out the waterfall. Like the storm starting. Flash floods. Always have to be careful with these in the heart of the summer and monsoon season in the desert. The reenactment of what it would have looked like back then.
Get munched on with these. Holy cow, man. That's big dude. Stand back and get this one. Triceratops. Wow. Absolutely amazing. Fifty million years ago, these were found in Germany. Wow! And this was found in New Mexico. Wow! This was in Brazil. Germany. were also found in Germany. That's what they believe they look like. Pretty crazy. Looks like most of these were all found in Germany. We're in the Western Northern American area. And that's pretty much all weather. It's crazy. Much respect to the Native Americans. Very proud people, didn't waste a thing. 
used every bit of every animal that they killed. They didn't waste anything. They didn't kill more than they needed to, or hunt, I should say. They were great farmers, craftsmen, hunters, traders. great warriors, very proud people. live by the Tohono Odom Nation. Man, can you imagine? How long did it take? Look how big. Here's my hand. Look how big. Those are tiny. I bet those little things took just as long as some of the larger ones. Much we can learn from different cultures and history. from an animal. Cultures of California. Southern, central, and northern. Disney and uh, Walter Knott was uh, very fascinated by the Native Americans, back then known as Indians. They would have them in their parks. Actually, Knott's Berry Farm still has them in their parks. They teach uh, different dances in their culture. That's what they used to do in both parks. Arctic and sub-Arctic 
Yeah, that's harsh living there. That is definitely on my bucket list list in Mexico. is still in good good condition wow much respect this was in the Gulf Coast area cave video um, similar stuff it was made out of from nature like glows and holds on to light like a neon light wow look at this look how many hours it took to carve something like this Southwest cultures. Where I was growing up. Wow, check that out. Wow. Among the Western Apache. Including the sandals. Wow. Pretty amazing. Territorial jail. This was actually moved here. Spanish armor. Man, you imagine wearing that today? <laughs> On today when it's 100 degrees, oh like 10.30 in the morning. Wow, well, look at this. I made it. Look at that. Oh yeah, All right, the story of the Mesa jail. It's crazy. This is eerie. I would not 
want to be in here. to you guys um, early next year welcome to the Dutchman mine the safest um, light outs back in the day. You light the front and then uh, put oil in there. in there. It keeps it lit. The curiosity of the lost Dutchman claims there's Lots of stolen stuff in there. That he did it. think anybody really knows. It was just one big hoax. It's actually stuff stashed in superstitious minds or if um, it was all so, uh, stolen. Different things that were found in that area. items that they have for for miners. If you guys haven't checked out the Queen Mine Tour or the Bisbee uh, Museum. Even Colossal Cave. You see different artifacts similar to this of those videos that I have. Walking back towards the front. More fossils. And look at this. Wow. 
This thing is massive. Just compared his kneecap is the size of my hand. Massive. Side here and so called pan for gold. You can get certain things in there that's actually like pirate and some other stuff, booze gold. But you can come out here, get one of these, naturally pan for gold. Great experience for the children. Let's go inside this little mine shaft. Phelps Dodge. Pretty much owned all the uh, mines back in the day. Still have a big chunk of them. More mining stuff. And everything that runs on copper. materials in general that need to be mined that we use today or trim different tools of the trade a little reenactment a little toy train the mining canary for decades they were used in mines because they would succumb to toxic fumes but they, they reached uh, level deadly levels to humans Car uh, canaries are no longer used in mines for this purpose well, I think most people would rather have a bird die before you died but uh, understandable why they don't do that anymore they have technology for those uh, reasons now this is hmm. pretty cool. Go back inside. Cool. It's hot, little ones. Centrosaurus. Oh. How big these things are. Chasmosaurus. Okay. Yeah, I'm glad I found this place. Uh, it's a great museum. I highly recommend every, anybody and everybody come here, especially the little ones. Living fossils. Oh, a spiny soft shell turtle. I don't see him. I do not see the little dude. Hmm. I do not see him. 
You see him in the video, point him out. Let me know. Wildfires. Check out this dude. Huge mammoth. Can't even get him in the frame. How big he is. Pretty amazing. Wow, that's gonna do it. Uh, incredible museum. I highly recommend this place. Um, especially get out of the, the summer heat. But it's gorgeous. So much history here. Um, if you guys can hit the thumbs up, appreciate it. Uh, so if you haven't subscribed, I greatly appreciate it. Um, trying to get uh, monetized, so it doesn't cost anything to you guys, uh, but it helps out us uh, YouTube's uh, greatly. Uh, and if you can uh, leave a comment, what's your favorite? What was your favorite here? Have you been here before? What do you recommend? Stuff like that. And if you can share the link to any friends or family that you think would enjoy this kind of content, I greatly appreciate it. I'll see you on the next one. Lots of love. Peace.